We have the International Criminal Court up and running. It's starting to get to its work. National level laws are being put in place to make sure that national courts uh, will start to play the role they can. But it's going to take us time to get to the end goal here, which is really having an integrated international web of justice, uh, which covers the whole planet. It's very young. It, um, it is progressing. Um, and we have to take into account, into account that there aren't many resources put into the international justice system. So they're working with very limited resources on a gazillion things and I think considering all of that um, it's it's you know it's really remarkable what is what it has accomplished. I think the international criminal justice is working. It's working uh, of course, there are some, uh, uh, some challenges, some problems, but uh, these are really uh, the kind of problems you, uh, you face uh, when you are dealing with um, institutions put in place by, uh, by states. It's a phenomenal thing, for instance, that the court has been able to issue an arrest warrant against the president of Sudan for the terrible crimes he's responsible for in Darfur. At the same time, it's no surprise that it has been very difficult for that court to get its hands on President Bashir and actually bring him to justice. But they keep at it. It's that persistence, uh, it's that certainty that we will continue slowly to see the kind of breakthroughs that we need to see. My dream for the ICC is to see it uh, fully uh, functional uh, because I'm uh, really convinced that uh, the ICC can contribute to, uh, to a, better, a better world, uh, a better world free of injustice. And uh, more than that, I also think that the ICC uh, can uh, encourage uh, states or municipal courts also to do their, to do their job uh, in, in terms of um, uh, prosecuting international crimes.